happy Thursday. I am so excited to be here with you today. I am flipped around from where I normally am. And that is because this is the printer station, right? This is where I keep all my printers on this side of the room. And I have a new one that I have been dying to introduce you to. Actually, I have two new ones. Um, but today we are going to talk about this Epson F570. It is a true Epson sublimation printer. We're going to talk about why that's important. We're going to talk about why I love the wide format with it. I'm going to show you how to print to it directly from Silhouette Studio. Um, this thing is a beast as far as production. It is puts out awesome quality. I, I love it. I've been I've had it now for I don't know a couple of months. Um, I actually Epson is based right here in Southern California. So I actually went up to visit them. Um, super excited to be able to work with yet another uh, manufacturer that you guys all know and love. So um, here's the thing. This Epson 570 is a 24 inch printer. Okay. It's not going to be for everybody. The price point not going to be for everybody. If you are a small business though, and you have a uh, sublimation in your business and it's, and it's an important part of your business, you might want to take a look at this. Okay. So here's the thing. I, I've done lots of prints, but I'm going to, we're going to print today, but I'm going to answer a couple of questions. So why do you want wide format? First of all, um, so wide format, obviously you can print larger items, right? Like if you wanted to do a large panel that's 20 inches, you're not going to do it on your sawgrass um, small printer or your smaller Epson printer. You are going to need a wide format printer. But aside from that, maybe you don't print wide items. If you print for a business and you are knocking out um, tumblers, you can do six at a time or more. I just did six at a time, all in one print. Okay. So each of these would be one single paper, um, on a smaller format printer, but on a wide one, it does all of them. Maybe you're doing custom stuff. Okay. Here's another one. This is, I just did this real quick. This is what we're going to reprint. We're going to reprint these. These are, uh, mug templates. Okay. All different ones. I got them from, they're part of a bundle on Sofonti. They all came together. I literally did nothing except download, unzip, and pull into Silhouette Studio. That's what you see up here right now, okay? I did no formatting. I did nothing. I'm gonna show you one thing. I printed one of these before. We probably saw when I did the lives before on these mugs. Only one fits on an eight and a half by 11, okay? So this is the benefit here of being able to print on the wide format printer. This is the same size template, okay, just so you know. So this prints, um, it's compatible with a Mac and a PC. God bless, it works directly from Silhouette Studio, even on a Mac. You can, op you can get to, and on PC also, you can get to the color profiles directly from Silhouette Studio. So I don't have to do anything else. It does come with the, um, Pro Edge software, which will give you additional, you know, tools if you want, like nesting and things. But for those of us who use Silhouette Studio, which I assume is the majority of you, if you're watching here, um, we already have the power of Silhouette Studio. So there's no need really for any of these other um, programs, but that does come with it. The other thing that I really like about this one is it comes, yes, the price tag is up there. Okay. You can get one of the other smaller sublimation printers under 600 bucks. This one, 2,600. Okay. Now, but before you bulk and turn off my live, stay here with me. Let me explain. So this comes with two full sets of ink. So you get eight, eight, um, 220 milliliter ink. This is true sublimation ink. Okay. So this is not a converted printer. Okay. This is true dye sublimation. So it comes with eight inks. Now, 220 milliliters, 50,000 mugs worth is what you're basically getting with it. Okay. That's how much ink. And then when you have to rebuy the ink, these are like 20 bucks as opposed to, um, you know, more expensive ink for other printers. It also comes with three 100 feet rolls of sublimation roll paper. Okay. So there's a 17 inch wide one. And then the one that I have in there is 24 inch. And that um, is what I'm going to print on today, but it comes with three of them. All right. And then it obviously comes with the, the printer. And when you do all the math, which 
you, if you saw me do the math before, we're not going to do the math today because that's just not my thing right now. But if you, um, if you are interested in all of that information, I have links up top that I did. I broke it all down. The F570 versus the smaller F170, which is the eight and a half by 11, versus converting an Epson printer. That's a whole nother conversation that we're not gonna get into right now, but we're gonna focus on the F570 um, and I'm gonna show you how to print. So what I have here, as we talked about, is all set up in studio. I just pulled everything in. I set my page size so it's 24 inches across. I just set it to 30 inches long. Um, no mat and no cutting machine because we're not even using our silhouette. We're just printing, okay? And then when I go to file print, the Epson shows up as one of my printers. All right, so you can get to all of the um, color profiles and all of that information. You want to set it to fine printing, high speed printing. You want to set it uh, if you're doing going to put this on a rigid uh, substrate or if you're going to put it on a textile, all that information directly from file print in silhouette studio okay and i have a blog post on that as well it's all there's a blog post linked up top or to the side that says everything to know about epson it's all within there okay on how to print directly from studio so all i'm going to do now is just click print it's going to take a second to process and i want you to see how this prints out now i printed the the settings that i set it to print on are fine so fine meaning um the highest quality okay so there's three different um resolutions is basically what you're getting you can do high speed you can do high speed and fine or you can do fine which is like the top of the line you know best resolution so just depending on what you're doing you can make those changes all right um so I also have, if you're wondering, while we're waiting for this to print, it's just process, you know how it is. It just takes a minute from Silhouette Studio to process all of that data to send over, but it's actually really pretty quick to print. So once it prints, the other thing that it's gonna do, it has a rotary cutter in here. And this little part in here is a rotary cutter. So when it's done printing, you're gonna see, well, you, probably, you won't actually see, but it goes across and it trims the paper piece right off of there. That's an option. You don't have to keep that turned on if you don't want to, if you would rather cut it yourself or you're gonna print another page behind it, you can leave it. Um, but that is, that is an option and I like it because then I can just grab it. Also, if you don't have desktop space like I do, this is a large, obviously, console that I have all my printers on, um, they have a stand for it and I link to that as well. So I'm just gonna check on the status. Yep, it's sending it to print still. So it just takes a second, but that's why I like to get everything all set up um, and then I can continue doing, here it goes. Wait until you see, this is so cool how it comes out. Um, and then, like I said, you can be working on other things. You're not sitting by loading paper or having to trim down. It just comes out all in one print. So if you're just joining, welcome, welcome. Uh, we're talking about the benefits of having a wide format sublimation printer in your business, okay? Because here's what happens, I end up getting all you lovely viewers who just got your silhouette machine for Christmas, you are not going to probably be buying this because you are not yet, maybe next year, right? We got to work up to that. Um, so uh, we have this wide format sublimation printer not only works for wide format prints that you might need for panels or different things, but it allows you to increase production as we talked about. So here I can do eight mug templates at once, or I could have put as many as I wanted on here. I just limited it so that we could have it manageable enough to print during this video. It's going to print out, you're going to see, and then it will trim it. Now, what I just printed is going to make mugs that look like this. So you can see these awesome colors. Okay. So cool. I did these in another live in case you didn't see that historic live when might have been the worst live I ever did in my life when I couldn't remember how many seconds hundred and I mean how many minutes 180 seconds was which now I know it's three okay I, I got it now um, this one too and if you're interested in these mug templates again they are all pre-sized and everything and this it came together as a bundle from Sofonti I threw the link up top for those two the other thing I want to tell you there are multiple places that you can get this Epson 570 the price is the same everywhere okay it's 20 26 95 I think if you get it from Swing Design, it comes with blanks. It comes with 16 blanks. It comes with three mugs. It comes with three wine tumblers that 
can be sublimated. I think I have some underneath here. And then it comes with a series of other things like coasters. Um, oh, I have printed coaster. So I, I did a whole sheet of these coasters. It comes with um, luggage tags and it comes with like dog tags, like things you can sample on. So literally you can start working with it out of the box. What else do you need? Oh, someone's asking, Melissa, good question. Where do you put the roll of paper? So I have a setup video for you that'll walk you through everything. But while we're waiting here, the um, I can't open it right now while it's printing, but I'll show you. The roll of paper is right here. So this here, I don't know if you can tell how wide this is. I don't know. It's maybe 20, two feet wide or so, but the paper is there. This also, besides rolls, takes feet, uh, sheet feeds. So you can, you can put in paper sheets as well if you don't want to cut off the roll. All right, so you can see it's, it's printing here. I'll move you back so you can maybe see a little bit better. Um, so it's pulling, it's going to come down. And then, like I said, this, so this may seem to you like it's printing slowly. Think about the fact that it's printing eight mug templates at the same time at the highest quality. So if I wanted it to print faster, I would put, do, um, I would do fast speed. It has an option in the print settings for fast speed, but I want to have the highest quality resolution. So I put it on, um, what's called fine and all those settings. I broke them everything down for you in a blog post. Um, that's all linked up there. Okay. So as I was saying, um, this one, if you want to get started right out of the box, it comes with obviously the ink, it comes with the paper, it comes with actually an extra like maintenance tank. Um, but if you get from Swing, it also, they don't even sell the very basic bundle. They sell it at the basic bundle price, but it includes the, it includes those blanks too. So you can really get started. What else do you need? Okay. You need a heat press. You, I mean, there's no way around it, but if you're already doing sublimation, you probably have a heat press. Did you hear that little at the end? That was the rotary. Okay. So now we're done. So now I can cut these apart and I can use them to sublimate my mugs. Okay. So I have made eight mug templates, printed eight mug templates, and they are ready to go. The other thing is, and you're going to have to get a little bit used to this, this printer is smart enough to know that sublimation needs to be done in reverse. So it automatically reverses your image for you. Now you can turn that off, but by default it's on. So it will know. So if you're used to using a saw grass where you have to manually flip your item, just be careful because I may have done some, some things that were backwards. Okay. Um, so someone was asking, where is the paper? I'll see if I can get you close enough, but essentially the paper, the roll of paper is back there. Okay. So it's all stored and everything is, you know, within, and I don't know if you can see here, but it's giving you, it's telling you, you know, what length, what size papers you can use. All right. And then uh, you can also move the roll over, like I said, and you can use, there comes with a 17 inch. This is 24 inch, but it comes with 17 inch as well. Okay. All right. So lots of questions on the F570, I did, I told you guys, I had this for a while. I was waiting to get all the content out. Everything is not at the top of the blog, but I do have everything that I have so far is on the blog. I kind of backdated some of it, so it wasn't like, hello, Epson, 25 posts of Epson all at once. No, we didn't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to bombard you with it, but if you're interested, it is on there. So if you click um, or you just search Epson, it'll, it'll, um, it'll all come up for you. Or if you go in there on the blog and click printers, and then there's a sublimation tab, you can get to it from within there too. Um, someone's asking, does it have self maintenance? Yep. You just keep it on. It's all set to go. Um, this is the fill tank. So when you're ready to need to refill your inks, you just put it in there. Like I said, though, it comes with eight, 208. Let me think about this. Eight of these, um, inks. They're 140 each. So 280 milliliters of each color. Okay. So it comes, that's a lot of ink. So if you think about how much ink you're getting and how much paper you're getting, 300 feet of paper, you're getting a lot of value. And then you add the blanks on there as well. You're getting a ton of value right off the top. So I know, like I said, I know this is not going to be for everybody, not going to be for everybody, but this is an option. 
You're looking for a smaller option. There is an eight and a half by 11, five by uh, the F170. It is not exactly apples to apples. Obviously it doesn't take rolls, different things like that. Um, but that is an option too. Just briefly, I do wanna touch on using an Epson, converting an Epson versus using a true die sub Epson. When I went up to Epson and spent a bunch of time with them, we talked about this, like why wouldn't someone just buy, um, you know, one of their work, force or whatever the i think they're called workforce right um they have they have a lot of different other printers that are very easy to find why not just get that and throw some sublimation ink into it these printers the sublimation printers have what's called the precision core printing head they are specifically engineered to work with sublimation ink okay so if you put sublimation ink in an inkjet printer which a lot of people are doing because for a long time there was no true epson sublimation printers you're actually risking hurting that um, the the print, print head in the inkjet printer. So ultimately, and you'll see this quite a bit, people say, "Well, my my print head's not working right. I'm getting lines, different things." That's because the print head is not meant to work with this type of sublimation ink. Okay, it's not meant to do that. They are two different types of print heads. The other thing is, if you put sublimation ink into a sublimation and into an inkjet printer you are voiding the warranty before you even do your first print and they will not help you like it so just so you know i know a lot of people are doing that and that was that was a decent option prior to when um epson had true home desktop sublimation printers however i would warn you to to think about what you're doing um think about consider that um, of course, I also have still have my Sawgrass. I'm about to get the SG500. I've had my, my Sawgrass for so long. It's a, I have the SG400. Um, so anyway, we'll obviously we'll do, be doing comparisons, but there's different pros and cons to all of them. I, you know, I've used my sublimation printers for a long time. And if you are in small business, sublimation is typically what comes after silhouette, heat press, sublimation printer so if you guys are interested consider the f570 i love it i think it's a great printer yes it's a big it's a big printer it's a big investment um there's a stand available and there's financing so um anyway i hope you guys enjoyed watching this first print i love being able to bring you um you know so you can see it live happening i can't like if i have to troubleshoot i have to troubleshoot just like you but everything went smoothly there because this thing is pretty much plug and print. All right. All right, you guys, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. See ya.